How's it going guys? So today I'm going to go over some pickups of some stuff I've added to my collection over the past month. I've added a bunch of cool games, some cool clothes, as well as a kiosk, I guess if you want to call it that. Stay tuned to see what I picked up. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to go over is I traded with my good friend Charles not too long ago. I had a bunch of NES games hanging around that he was looking for. Um, and I found out that his wife actually makes some pretty awesome perler art. So we did a trade back and forth. Uh, what she made for me was a coaster set. They come in these really cool NES controller uh, holders. And she made me two different sets. The first set is a Mario themed one. So it has the uh, egg right here, has Yoshi, Mario, and Luigi. Uh, she also made me a pretty cool Kirby set. And the one thing that's really cool about these, they all have different designs, especially on this Kirby one right here. They look freaking absolutely awesome. And on top of that, he even threw in this really cool piranha plant as well. One thing I need to do is I just need to get a pot and uh, one of the foam pieces for it so I can have it stick vertically on my shelf. Another pickup I got off one of my friends was a copy of Super Tennis. Uh, this is from my good friend Eric. He only charged me 10 bucks for it, uh, which is a very solid price. When I was at a local game store not too long ago, I saw it there. I think it's about 15 or $16 and I passed on it thinking I already had it. Um, my good friend Eric came through though. He hooked me up with this and I really can't thank him enough. So as you guys know, I recently did go to PAX East and it's not much of a place for retro gaming, but there are some vendors around. Uh, I did grab two games while I was there. The first one was a complete copy of Columns for the Master System, which I believe put me at around 92 complete Master System games. Uh, also a copy of Kid Cool on the NES. Uh, combined, I think those are both 20 bucks. Uh, while I was also there, I did grab a new hat. You guys are aware that I always am wearing this hat, but it was time to retire it, because I've had it for about a year, and I frequently wash it. And uh, it's starting to lose its form a little bit, so I grabbed a new one. It's red, it looks pretty cool, but uh... I kind of do miss the black one. Um, at the same time, they have it was like a 2 for 50 deal. I grabbed this shirt here, this is Super Lame Boy. It has the same exact font as a Super Game Boy and I found this to be pretty awesome. So the next set of pickups I'm going to go over are going to try to do in time order of when I pick them up. Um, there are a few of them are from the same store, but at different times. So the first thing I grabbed from a Salvation Army that's not too local to me, it's about a half hour away, uh, was a copy of SSX on tour and a copy of Sonic Mega Collection Plus. The uh, reason I grabbed those is because the Sonic 1 has all the Genesis ports as well as uh, I believe it's a Game Gear ports as well. And the reason I grabbed SSX is because I've been itching to play Tricky because that is probably one of my favorite games of all time so I'm really hoping that one holds up just as well. I also stopped by another Salvation Army later that week that's pretty close to my house. I managed to pick up five games there. Uh, first was a copy of 007 Agent Under Fire, a copy of Final Fantasy X, uh, WWF Smackdown Just Bring It, and let's see, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, and a copy of Grandia 2. For all five of those games, it only cost me 11 bucks, which I found to be a pretty solid deal. So I'm trying to go over these all in order. It's pretty hard to, because I keep forgetting when I pick things up. Uh, these are two games I actually snagged off eBay. Uh, one was a copy of Great Volleyball. This is only five bucks shipped. And the second one was a copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, which I think was only three and a quarter shipped. So the next portion I pick up is from a local store called That's Entertainment. It's in Worcester, Massachusetts, and I often talk about the store. It's probably one of my favorite stores, and it's also very close to my work, so it's easy to stop in there before I uh, go to my job. Um, one day, I grabbed two games. I grabbed a copy of Rampage uh, for the NES, which was 10 bucks, and a copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, which I paid $4 for. Um, I've been on a huge Tony Hawk kick recently, so I was uh, unfortunately lacking number four on PS2. I had it on GameCube, but I feel like on the PS2, these games play a little bit better. Uh, they also had a St. Patrick's Day sale where they had buy three, get one free. Uh, so I grabbed four games, uh, three for Super Nintendo, one for N64. Uh, Super Nintendo game I grabbed was Dirt Tracks FX. This is actually a pretty fun game that surprised me when I played it one night. Uh, a copy of Jimmy Houston's uh, Bass Tournament USA. Uh, Pack Attack. And for N64, a copy of Armorines. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I think for all four of those games, it came to about $20. All right, so the last portion I picked up is actually from two days ago. Um, I went to the Salvation Army, that's pretty local to me again. I'm not sure when they put out games or when they get new stuff in. It seems like they get new stuff in every single day. Um, but I grabbed seven games. Uh, first was a copy of We Play, a copy of Transformers the Game, uh, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, uh, let's see, uh, Colony Wars Vengeance, uh, Area 51, Vigilante or Vigilante 8. And last one's a copy of Monster Rancher. This has been a game that I've known about for a very long time. You don't often see it, but I've been wanting to play this for quite some time now because I find it to actually be a really unique game. I think altogether for all these games, it was 11.70 including tax. So that was a very solid deal. 
So the last portion of my pickup for this week was actually the Amiibo kiosk that they usually use at retail stores. Uh, this thing is complete except the only thing it's missing is the back bracket and I don't have keys for it. Um, I found out you can actually order the keys online. I think they're about $5 for a set. So I will order those eventually. Um, it came with the original screen. This thing is in really, really awesome shape except for like a little chip up here in the corner. Uh, my plans for this is going to be ripping out the screen that's inside. I think it's actually like an Android build touch screen. So I want to take that out, put a generic 19 inch screen inside. Uh, probably take these out or maybe just keep the four in here or swap them out with the uh, retro set of the Amiibos and uh, pull like an NES Classic in the middle, drill a hole out down here so I can pretty much use it as like an NES kiosk. I think that would actually look pretty cool in the end. You guys may be asking how I obtained this. Um, I actually did go dumpster diving uh, at a GameStop that's kind of near where I work. Uh, they had a bunch of cardboard boxes and then I found this on top of it. Um, I'm not sure if it was being saved for someone because it looked like it was placed there perfectly. Um, but I swung by, I just checked one day because I've gone like a few times before that. I found it there just sitting there, so I had to take it home. I thought it would be a pretty cool project to work with. But please, if you are going to go dumpster diving, be super careful. Don't just dive in there. You never know what you're going to find. You obviously don't want to get hurt or possibly harm yourself at all. So I hope you guys like the stuff I've added to my collection over the past few weeks. I feel like it's a large variety of items, uh, anywhere between the PS1, Super Nintendo, NES, Master System, Xbox, and this really cool Amiibo kiosk. But if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up in the comments below. below. Let me know what your favorite thing is. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do so you can check out future content. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great week hunting. Mm -hmm.